To start out this series, we're going to take a look at exactly what this simple social network can do. And we're going to be demonstrating that using two different browsers. So I have Chrome and Firefox both open, and I'm going to be switching between them so we can see how we can uh, interact between users. So the first thing I want to do is just sign up for an account. This is very straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and enter my email address, choose a username and enter a password and hit sign up. So our account's been created and we can go ahead and sign in. So let's do that now. And we'll sign in with our password. We have remember me functionality here as well. So we're now signed in. Uh, let's just take a look around here and see what uh, we have. So we've got our timeline, which contains all of our friends' posts as well as replies, and also all of our posts as well. And we can see replies to our own posts. And we can update our status using this uh, form just here. Now we can see a list of our friends on this tab. Uh, at the moment, I don't have any friends. And we can also see friend requests as well here. And we can find people as well. If I type in my name here, uh, you can see that I can just see myself there. And this is my profile now. This will be the same for other users too. It lists my friends here. And it will tell me if I've posted and show me any posts here too. So I can also update my profile. So I can go ahead and enter a first name and a last name. And I can give myself a location as well if I want. When I update that and go over to my profile, you can see that all of that information has been updated. And this up here has been updated too. Now the profile images are coming from Gravatar at the moment. Of course, you could change that later on to uh, be able to upload a photo if you wanted to. So let's sign up for a new account now in a different browser and we'll see how different users will be able to interact. So let's just sign up here with billy at cocourse.com, choose the username Billy. And of course, these forms have validation too. So if I were to type Alex and hit sign up, it wouldn't let me do it because the username's already been taken. So we can go ahead and enter a password and hit sign up. And we are nearly in. We just need to sign in now. Of course, you could do it so they're automatically signed in. And there we go, we're in. So on the timeline, again, we see exactly the same thing. At the moment, there's not much going on here between our friends because we don't have any. So I'm going to search for Billy just over here. I can find Billy there. And because this isn't my profile, I can go ahead and add Billy as a friend. And the friend request was sent. So over on uh, my other browser, if I go over to my friends section, you can see I have a list of my friends requests. I can click on this profile and I can accept this friend request. So I can just click that and we are now friends. So over on Billy's pro or over on Alex's profile, we have Billy as a friend. And on Billy's profile, we now have Alex as a friend. So let's pop back to the timeline on both of these. And I'm going to go ahead and post something. So had a great day. And hit update status. And you can see that adds a post here with the ability to reply. And I can reply to my own statuses as well. But of course, you could change that if you didn't want to. And this currently has zero likes. So we have like functionality as well. I can't obviously like my own status. Again, you could change that so you could. So now that I'm friends with Alex on the Billy profile, you can see that this pops up in my timeline too. I can like this if I want. So it now has one like. And if I pop back and just refresh, you can see that that now shows one like as well. And I can comment on this too. So I can say, that's great. And hit reply. And there we go, I've posted a reply. And again here, we see that's great. And I can like that from here because Billy isn't me, it's a different account. So this might not seem that complicated, but behind the scenes, there is actually quite a lot going on here. It's not really complicated to create something like this, but we want to build it in a way that we can add more features later on. So we're going to be building this within the Laravel framework, and we're going to be creating, obviously, models that represent our users, represent our posts, and we're going to be tying these together in a nice, structured way. So we can update this later on if we want to. So let's head over to the next video where we look at setting up our Laravel app.